Hey guys, this is an optional tutorial for if you don't want to have to present your home studio PBL projects, you can record your audio in Soundtrap and export it and attach it to your slides. And this is how you do that. So first, I'm in blank, a blank Soundtrap project. You can do this by getting going to Soundtrap.com and just entering the studio outside of a project. And click Add New Track, Voice and Microphones. You're going to use your built-in, and I'm going to check this to make sure we're good. Test, 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 talking, talking, okay. And you also want to turn off this reverb because we don't want that. So you want to do one of these for each of your slides. So this is going to go on my first slide, so I'm going to start recording. I'm going to talk. So for my home studio, I plan to use it for three specific purposes. The first is to record myself performing on woodwind instruments like flute and clarinet and saxophone to eventually get put together and go on my YouTube channel. The second one is I've been kind of thinking about becoming a Twitch streamer and making and streaming video games on Twitch and seeing how that goes so I can use it for that. Um, and I also, because my boyfriend has his own podcast, this would give him a dedicated space to record it instead of like in the closet. Okay, so that's there. Oh, in instruments like flute and clarinet and saxophone. Cool, so I'm gonna save that. And then, so that's step one. Step two is I need to export it. So I'm going file export export to mp3 we're gonna wait for that and then I will export it to mp3 There we go, it's mixed, okay. So again, part two, going to file, export, export to MP3. And it's been exported to downloads. So step two is to put that into Google Drive. Or you need to upload it to your Google Drive. So I'm gonna find it in here. I'm probably gonna rename this. and drag it right into Google Drive. And that will upload. Okay, so now it's on the Google Drive as an MP3. And the final step is to attach it to the slide that you were talking about. So this is the slide I was talking about. I'm gonna go to Insert, Audio, and there it is right there. You could either go through My Drive, or if you can't find it, go to Recent, and it should be the top thing. Select. And now it's right here. I can move this up a little bit so it's actually on the slide. And then this can be played and it's me explaining. So for my home studio, I plan to use it for... Um, so it's me explaining what the slide is about and what I would present in person. So you should use this and do this if you do not want to have to present in person in class.